Hey everyone, welcome to the Game Controls tutorial for uh, Cities Excel 2012. Here I'll be discussing everything that you need to know in terms of uh, all the keys and all the things that you can probably do and uh, controls and all the things that you can click to make your life just a little bit quicker in terms of playing this game. Now uh, the basics of course is we will start off with uh, the keyboard. The keyboard you can use uh, the actual arrows up key, arrow down and arrow left and arrow right key to move around as you can see I am panning around just using my keyboard keys this is pretty useful in case you don't feel like using your mouse or you can use your other hand to pan around while your mouse uh, does other things such as going to the options menu and dealing with uh, the options and uh, building stuff you know this is just to get things a little bit quicker now you can obviously zoom in and out using the actual uh, mouse scroller so if I scroll up I zoom in I can zoom all the way in of course and I can take a look at the town itself and if I zoom out I can zoom all the way out and now if I hold the scroller mouse wheel down and I move my mouse to the right as you see I'm rotating to the right and if I keep it held down and I move to the left I'm rotating left so this is pretty cool in case you do want to get a different view at a place at a different angle so that, that that's good to know and now for the keyboard shortcut keys if you do have your options menu open and you hit escape that closes that so escape does close the options menu now if you do build a building any building whatsoever and you do select it for example I did build something here I select it and then I hit the delete key it will be deleted as you can see I hit the delete key on the keyboard it is deleted so that's pretty much it let's hit delete and it is being deleted now now the next thing F1 opens and closes your options menu so that's pretty good to know in case you do want to open your options menu you can hit F1 and it's directly in the options menu another thing is uh, F2 enables and disables uh, the Windows mode I won't be doing that Windows mode is pretty cool like that you can actually have the game in your actual desktop and you can have let's say Skype open on the right side and you can be chatting with your friends while you're playing Cities Excel or you can have your browser and you can be browsing while you're waiting for let's say your blueprints to be finished so that's pretty cool so F2 does that for you you have you have the Windows mode now by pressing C you can change the camera mode the camera mode changes from satellite to postcard and of course uh, the other way around so we press C this is postcard obviously this is uh, the best way or I do presume uh, the best uh, a view to put in when you do want to take a screenshot and if you press C again you do have the satellite view so postcard view satellite view by hitting the C on your actual keyboard itself now talking about taking screenshots of course F11 takes the screenshot without any of the interface meaning you don't have any of the stuff up here and all, all these option menus and all this stuff doesn't appear anywhere on the actual uh, screenshot when you do press F11 but if you do want to take a screenshot with all these controls and keys I do believe the only reason to do that is to show off that you have I would say uh, you can say all your uh, citizens are satisfied or green if you do want to show off that all the citizen services are green then you can press alt gr and f11 that's uh, the right alt on uh, the keyboard the right alt uh, with uh, f11 that will take a screenshot and show off that all your stuff is pretty good and well and now uh, that being said all the screenshots are saved to uh, my desktop slash uh, my picture slash focus home interactive slash cities excel 2012 you'll find all the screenshots saved there now let's go to the camera tools camera tools of course is here on the left side this is pretty useful you can uh, the first thing you can do is active day and night cycles so now when you're playing uh, the actual day and night does change it does doesn't stay actually fixed usually when you play it always it's at uh, daytime if you hit play it actually switches it goes to night to, to dawn to blah 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 if you have to switch on now you have to switch it off or you can switch it now manually to the time of day as you see you do have different times of days here you have 9 a.m. 6 a.m. and uh, so on and so forth so you can switch tonight you can switch to dusk let's go to postcard view you can switch to 6 p.m. It's just about the sun is just about set or you could go to 6 a.m. and the sun is rising so a cool thing is you can see you see the reflection on the water so if you do take a nice angle you do see the reflection on the water the cool thing what people like to do is take pictures of their actual buildings when the sun hits them so that's pretty nice you can do that as well you can switch to this and you can take a nice snapshot with the sun hitting your actual uh, metropolis now plus of course zooms in uh, minus zooms out so this rotates to the right this rotates to the left this is the postcard view same thing by hitting the C postcard and satellite view okay this is uh, the camera this is the satellite view so you do have closer view and uh, 
and the camera gives you the satellite view so satellite view you have uh, further off in the space and closer and the postcard view you have standard postcard and zoomed in postcard view and now of course uh, this camera thing takes a screenshot and it is in the location that I did tell you where it's supposed to be that's pretty much it for this view options of course you can close it and once you close it you can uh, reopen it by going to the main menu and hitting uh, the the camera here and it reopens and you do have it back here again now uh, one of the main things in this game is of course uh, they do call it passage of time it's uh, right here you do have you see times one that's how the time is passing you can speed up the game by of course hitting the arrow it goes times two times three times five is the maximum and that actually increases the pace of time why people do this of course uh, they do want to increase the amount of money they make so of course the faster it goes the more time passes and uh, the more money they generate without waiting forever so uh, it's usually I do believe it's counted per month or I call it per click you do get this much amount of money so I'm getting 24 24,940 per click per one month or per whatever per I don't know 50 seconds or 30 seconds at speed 5 one time passes so if you do want to increase the pace of time uh, this uh, this is where you do it of course uh, doing this also increases you can say uh, the build up rate and the fill up rate of all your buildings so on and so forth so when you do play the game you can actually fill it up uh, much quicker you can obviously look at my other tutorials now what one cool thing is as well is uh, that's not mentioned anywhere is uh, to rotate your buildings you hold down shift so for example I want to build any building whatsoever uh, you I don't know for example electrical I do want to stick it here I can hold shift and rotate it this is as you see it is rotating it is a little bit of a bad example let's take ledgers and let's take this for example as you see I can rotate by holding shift and moving my mouse now uh, the disadvantage with this is yes you can rotate it but once you're stuck to the actual uh, you can say uh, road it rotates back so whether you like it or not for example I'm gonna stick the heli to the other side it always if I'm gonna stick the heli up it's gonna rotate back so this is one disadvantage with this game they didn't figure it right through if I do rotate it the way I want to and then I move it to the actual road it always readjusts it and puts the actual entrance directly to the road so this is a disadvantage if you do want to build something rotate it and build the road away from it you don't want it to attach to the main road but you know whatever holding shift and moving your mouse does rotate the actual building itself that being any building whatsoever and uh, this is pretty much it for uh, all the keys and controls you do need to know in uh, cities excel 2012 uh, the blueprints are uh, on the decorations you do have uh, hold on landmarks no where are they no in uh, the pack sorry in the packs you have Americas, Europe, and Asia, and if you click the Americas, you have the second tab for each of them is uh, the actual, sorry, the third tab of each of them is the actual blueprints. So, again, Europe, third tab is blueprints, and Asia, third tab is blueprints, which is in the packs section. Well, this is pretty much it. Now, a uh, good thing also to know is... Uh, the exit button here will actually throw you out of the game it'll put you back to windows and the back button will put you back to the main menu so try not to mix them up in the beginning you will get frustrated some people will hit the exit button you'll be back to windows if you just want to switch the city just hit the back key I'm gonna hit it now it'll save your city go back to the world view and then you can enter another city and continue building there and expanding there so uh, that's gonna happen to you whether you like it or not because you are gonna be switching between cities and uh, that's pretty much it for uh, this keys and uh, game controls uh, you can say tutorial do give it a thumbs up happy gaming and see you again next time and don't forget to visit the link below which gives you the link to all the tutorials and playlists for cities excel 2012